Hey, what's up, everybody? BDF44 coming at you with another video. All right, so Zubats. Ivica Zubats had an historic line tonight 31 points, 29 boards, and three blocks. He was doing stuff out there that you hadn't seen in a while, man. He had a couple of drop steps and dunks, catching two hand lobs. Zubats is just really in his bag tonight. I don't know what got into him, but, you know, this is one of those situations where. For me as a Laker fan, I, I definitely wanted to see the highlights from this one because not only was it Zubats going crazy, but they were playing against the Pacers of whom the Lakers see tomorrow. And, of course, we're going to talk about that tomorrow. Uh, but, man, Zubats, uh, I just wanted to let everybody know what he did tonight and then, you know, furthermore, speak on the fact that we traded him uh, for pennies on the dollar, to say the least. I mean, it was a... I've said it was the second worst trade in the history of the sport behind the Gobert trade, in my opinion. Uh, it, it was just unbelievable how ridiculous we were in giving up Zubat's value, attaching him last minute. And when I say last minute, it was the trade deadline, the final hour. Trading him to the Clippers along with Michael Beasley, who I guess got into it with somebody behind the scenes. I don't know who he got into it with. It was a situation where he had just lost his mom. And I don't know if, if something he had lashed out or something, but the Lakers felt like it was important that week to get him off the team at all costs. And for whatever reason, waving him wasn't an option. So they figured, let's try to trade him and get something back for him. And in the last minute, after failing to get AD at the trade deadline, I guess they just decided they were going to do something stupid to make themselves feel better. So they proceeded to give Zubats away to the Clippers across down the hall team the team that ain't, ain't got to leave the building uh for stuff that we weren't even going to use for mike muscala who who ultimately was several years off from being the player that could actually help us and someone we weren't even going to keep for the remainder of that season uh it was uh in my opinion the worst trade is second worst trade is for the sport like it's it, and you can see tonight why <laughs> you see why 31 points 29 rebounds three blocks that's why so I, I just want everybody to be aware of what it is that, that Rob Palenka and the Los Angeles Lakers did uh, at that moment. That was one of about 37 or 38 bad things that they've done uh, in this regime. And thank God for that 2020 championship or it would all be for naught. Uh, so, yeah, man, that's that's something I just want to let everybody uh, hear me say this evening. Because in the midst of, of congratulating Zubats, um, it's, it's egg on our faces as Laker fans. It's egg on our faces. It's one more Rob Palenka move, LeBron James move that we hate. It was an absolute disaster of a move. So that's what there is to say, man. That's it. It is what it is to say. That That is pretty much my entire thought. Um, yeah, I, I don't even want to say anything else, honestly. I just want to congratulate Zubats. Clippers on a win, I guess. I'm not a Clipper fan, but I certainly appreciate Zubats. And his tenure with the Lakers, man. So when he has the game of his life, we definitely want to give him some love. So that's what it's about, man. BDL44. Thank you all for watching. Out.